Peter Weller stars in the title role as Robocop. The director is Paul Verhoeven. Well, it's an action picture, I suppose, first of all. And it, is, um, it has some other level, um, telling you something about uh, the possibility of the human soul to survive everything. So it's on two levels. I think it's an action picture, and it's a, it's a picture about human soul. Play John Murphy, a.k.a. Robocop, a policeman who's taken from uh, his beat in Detroit and used as an experiment, much against his own will. He turns and there's just, you know, sometimes I look at him, and is there anyone, is there anyone there? So I think because of how good he is at his job, it made it really easy for me. One of my earliest recollections of robots is sitting in front of a television set when I was four years old watching a local Philadelphia TV show uh, called Mr. Rivets, and it was a man in a cardboard box painted silver. Now, hopefully, we've done a little better than that. ...of law enforcement, RoboCop. Hello. Hi. Hey. Come on, guys. There's nothing there. Just give me a little bit more there. For director Paul Verhoeven, RoboCop marks not only his first American did, feature, yeah but also his initial plunge into the special demands of science fiction. Ready? Action! Yeah, it jumped us exactly the same moment, but we can intercut it, yeah? I think that he wanted to make the movie, and he did make the movie, for American sensibilities, not for European sensibilities. Still, the obliqueness of it and the, some of the humor and the wit and the social milieu that he, the jackpot of little goodies that he throws in is from Europe. It's, so it's tremendously unique. To know the writer and to talk with him and find out what is the common opinion behind what is written on, in the lines. It distinguished itself from other robot movies because it's about a guy who becomes a machine. Um, it's a very violent movie. It's sort of a comedy, I think. Um, I mean, if you like a good robot picture, this might be it. To the crime-infested streets, RoboCop takes dead aim at the urban underworld and tracks down his own killers. This warehouse is the setting for one of the most complex and challenging sequences in the film. In this climactic scene, RoboCop confronts his own executioners. The firepower, stunts, and special effects that result are truly awesome. Here, director Verhoeven consults with special effects man Dale Martin. On action, our, our man's going to come in on action. You're going to see the whole wall get machine gun and back with bullet hits, the blast will pop the lights and all that. As he moves forward, we'll see some hits of cement, the ground, and then we'll throw some sparks off his body. Explosive charges called squibs are placed by the special effects crew. These squibs, when detonated, simulate bullet hits. Special protective vests are used when placing squibs on actors. Here, special effects employ a jerk vest, a special harness worn by the actor with a hook protruding in the back. A wire is attached, and when the squibs explode, the wire is jerked, and the actor will be pulled backwards, giving the effect of being blown away. In complex scenes like this, the director choreographs each element separately, so the actors, camera, special effects, and stunts all work together as a cohesive whole. Well, you have this sequence here, which is a big shootout. The robot comes in the building, kills all the baddies in the building, so uh, that's not super dangerous. It's just it requires a, a number of stunt people, a lot of bullet hits, a lot of blood bags, and things like that. I'll wait, and then there'll be action! Not only because I'm in it, but because, well, we'll talk about it later. Go see it.